hi welcome back to rebecca's travel so if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi how you all doing and um, it's a sunny day uh, today here in northwest leicestershire in the uk and um, so today i'm going to be doing uh, 10 most beautiful beaches um, in the uk august 2022 uh, part one uh, this is according to timeout.com. Um, I'm also going to uh, give you my own take um, of what I think of these uh, 10 fantastic beaches. So I'm going to start off um, with from surfing to peaceful codes, idyllic charmers, check out um, our pick for the best beaches in the UK. Um, so I'm going to jump right in with number one, um, which is Barra Fundal Bay in Pembrokeshire, Wales. Um, it's an award-winning beach uh, for Wales, um, best for uh, um, for basically a chill for a sheltered dip in the crystal clear water and um, again it looks like a really beautiful uh, beach online um, and uh, moving on to number two um, Pentel Bay um, at the at Tresico Islands of um, Scilly um, they're best known for subtropical beach uh, with a barely another person seen in sight and also for like light, light hearted and entertainment or for say a special occasion um, or different sorts of occasions. Um, number three, uh, Port Corono Beach. Um, it's a stunning beach in Cornwall and it's best for um, beautiful barefoot walks um, along the salt white sandy bay um, it has turquoise sea um, it's a beautiful beach um, small but perfectly Formed at this little turquoise bay is stuff people dream about, or at least I do as well <laughs> um, in my sleep. Um, number four, um, it's a beach in Norfolk and it's called Holham Beach, at uh, best for channeling your inner Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, creating a uh, the beach scene from Shakespeare in Love. Um, again, another st stunning beach with lovely uh, um, sands and just very picturesque with um, greenery um, at the back. Um, number five, Wollacoon Sands, Devon, at uh, best for making... Um, at sand castles um one of north devon's best loved beautiful hangouts um it's a favorite with surfers and families uh, this stunning bay looks absolutely gorgeous on photos um has rock pools uh, for uh, kids to explore um, you can also grab something to eat uh, by a nearby cafe. Um, the reason why we didn't go to Wollacoom in the end on one of the Alpha trips that I uh, went on before lockdown and um, because it was uh, raining so bad, so, so it's probably not the best idea on a, a rainy day, but a lovely day um, like today. Um, it's uh, really ideal. 
Um, number six, uh, Bambra Beach. I've been to Bambra Beach um, in Northumberland and, and I've seen it at this and it is a st absolutely stunning beach. When I went to uh, Bambra in Northumberland um, with a, a coach company uh, before lockdown, and um, it was absolutely stunning and um, it can get chilly at two. Uh, so, but it is one of the most beautiful northeast uh, beaches um, in England and it also has an ideal area to go uh, to the Farne Islands um, by boat um number seven is Rosalie Bay um Gower Wales best for break for, through or breathtaking rambles so like long walks uh, through the dramatic cliffs of the Gower Palencia it is also um has uh, been one of the best uh, beaches and um, in Europe and um, so it's been given like a green flag beach for one of the best beaches and um, it looks absolutely stunning again on photo and um, the beach um, also has unspoiled nature as well which is an added bonus and um, Number eight um, is Morecambe Beach, Lancashire, uh, best for exploring art and um, installation um, along with um, the promenade uh, walk and um, it has um, a whopping five mi miles of sand and shingle wa waistline and um, it also has award winning uh, sculpture trail to celebrate local white life with um, a steel of um, gannate, um, comorants and uh, razor bills um, debuted along the seafront. Dogs are not allowed uh, through the beach during peak season which is at May to September but they are allowed um, from um, between um, October and March or between October and April and um, it's best for um, a good bucket and spade holiday um, as well um, number nine summer lays Cornwall um, is also a really good bucket and spade holiday and um, it has a, ray, a rainbow lineup of uh, beach huts, so they're very colourful, the beach huts around there. Um, one of Bood's best loved beaches at Summer Lays um, is embodied um, of classic British seafront, has beautiful golden sands and uh, basically a cute beach hut and um, it's a family beach and has brilliant bra bars and restaurants within walking distance and um, I went I can, I can remember when I was um, a toddler one years old um, going to uh, Bood and the beach and it was um, a beautiful long sandy beach um last but not least is um uh, with the sands north yorkshire um it's best for wind sweat walks with ice cream and you can also get a really good outstanding fish and chips um in whitby as well and it's just a few minutes walk the beach uh, from the fishing town of Whitby and um, it uh, is a perfect seaside setting with um, a bright beach 
and a really bright colourful beach huts and you can make uh, sand castles and you can also get a, um, a way um, with again excellent fish and chips in Whitby which is nearby and there's also cafes and bars available also in Whitby Town and other attractions. Dogs um, are not allowed though in the summer, but are allowed in the winter. Um, I would really like to do a part two next week um, of this third series, and I'll speak about uh, some more stunning beaches um, in the UK next week. So I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Sorry, I'll see you this Sunday for a travel improvements updates and more. And I'll have more aspects of travel to talk about. And I would like to say have a as good weekend as possible. And bye for now. Thank you. Bye.